Ladies and gentle folk, please do not adjust your sets. This isn't the beginning of the Crash Around Wilds video. I'm simply showing you how to get to Kunlai Summit from a position that we have both been before. So instead of turning left, simply follow the wall to the right hand side and it will take us here to the Veiled Stair, commonly referred to as Path of 100 Steps. It was going to be called Path of 200 Steps, but human rights got hold of them and halfway up they had to convert it into a disabled ramp. But it takes us to the Tavern in the Mists and here I'm going to show you the new, new, new location of the black market auction house and if you can please indulge me for a second because i haven't done this in ages <gasps> jacuzzi watch and we have the wrestler mm. now len the whisperer has a couple of quests for us to do en route so you might as well stop off they're very nearby in the cave and i'm going to give you two guesses as to what quest he's given us and i bet you don't get them go on go and have a guess Ah, right, okay, you got it first time. Yes, he gives us a kill quest and a collect quest. And if you're lucky, you can get a nice easy ride through this cave because somebody's taking care of all these lizard people. However, I am not a lucky chappy. <laughs> and I have to kill every single solitary lizard person that is in this damn place to get to Leech Fingers, who's slightly further down the hallway. Now, Leech Fingers has a little bit of a problem. He's slightly bugged. He should be a quest mob. And therefore, when he's tapped, everybody should still be able to attack him and get credit for the kill. However, it must be a bug. He's not showing up as that. And so when you tap him, he's solely yours. But the good news is, in my inventory, I found this funky item. It's a spittoon. Ding! Ding! And it actually makes that noise when you're doing it as well. Hours of fun. Well, it's, it's certainly more hours of fun than questing in Mr. Pandaria, I'll tell you that. <coughs> Claws are out today, guys. So here we go. Here's Leech Fingers. I'm sorry I had to run ahead of everybody, but I ain't got a time scale, you know? I'm going to get these videos out, so you just get run through and tapped. <laughs> and if that has pissed anyone off, I apologize, but you know. Stuff happens. So there we go. We can run out and hand these couple of quests in. Hardly exhilarating, but a little warm-up before we get to Kunlai Summit. And hopefully, something a wee bit better there. I just had a couple of frap issues. That's why I had to just scoot this on a little bit. So here we are. We're at the Brewmaster. And we get to Kunlai Summit through this nice little jaunt through the Ancient Passage. No passage jokes, please. And he talks about the Hosen. And also, these lizard people start throwing spears don't throw bloody spears at me. Okay, quite possibly the worst Michael Caine impression in history, but I try. And we've arrived at the village. But first things first, let's get the flight path. And then we can start to hand some quests in and find out what they're going to send us to do. So, in effect, I'm going to be questing in Kunlai Summit. And there's got to be a song in there somewhere, surely. Someone's questing, my lord, in Kunlai Summit. Oh, Lord, Kunlai Summit. Available on iTunes from Monday. So, what have we been given? Well, <laughs> you'll never believe this. <laughs> but we've been given a kill quest. Yay! We've been given another kill quest. Yay! We've been given a collect quest. Yay! And we've been given a heal people with beer quest. Oh, yay! <laughs> I tell you what, if beer was a medicine, I would be ill 24-7. Now, these dudes which are attacking the pandas are sort of um, a mixture of torrens and minotaurs. And it reminded me of that, that long-lost race of torrens that we discovered in Wrath of the Lich King. That we got into the horde... And then, um, never to be seen again. <laughs> Not even in the character creation screen, when you want to actually create a Torrent. It doesn't have their features available. So, did we just abandon them in Northrend? You know, just leave them to their own devices? Actually, with those human faces, you look a little bit too freaky to take back to Azeroth. So, you just stay there, you know? <sighs> never mind. Well, I've nearly picked up all the uh, arrows. I took none in the knee. <laughs> 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 
And we get on to the boss guy. And quite a few of us attack him. So he goes down in next to no time at all. So Blizz starting a brand new zone. And this is also I think the second biggest zone in the game. What an underwhelming start. Just throwing generic kill and collect quests at us. And then we've got Admiral Taylor and General Nazgrim having handbags at 10 paces with each other. No, uh, but they're too injured. They can't fight. They're too injured from the battle before. So, tough titty to them. And the screen froze because the client crashed. It's still like that. Careful with this quest because, again, it's been a little bit buggy. It says that the next person I got to speak to is there, but they're not. And I actually discover them slightly further down the pathway when I get onto my mountain and have a little bit of a wander. So hopefully that will just save you a little bit of time instead of running around in circles like I did for 30 seconds. But they want me to go off and kill the Torrid Minotaur Chimera boss. And I thought he's going to be quite tough because his minions, you know, they hit quite hard. So I popped all my cooldowns, or pretty much all of them, and he just went down in, in a couple of seconds anyway. So he must have been pretty weak. And now we're going to take the town over. And sorry to be a bit of a bitch, but Blizzard, you've got the pandas putting out the fires in the cutscene. You've probably just deprived us of one of your questing experiences there. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm all over the place today. Now, something disturbing is happening in this village, and I'll tell you in a second. We have Kieran, we have General Nazgrim, we have freaky, cluggy, poppy, goblin person. Where, where is Rico? Where is my monkey? Can somebody please tell me where my monkey is? If anybody has seen my monkey, please post in the comments below and tell me where it is. I'd, I'd be very grateful indeed. So how do they start off the questing experience away from the village? Well, lo and behold, what have we got? We've got a collect quest and we've got a kill quest and then we've got a collect quest and then we've got a kill quest. Now, yesterday's video, apart from the, the one quest, which I think was to throw the carp into the river, back into the sea, everything else was kill and collect. And so far today, apart from the hill people with beer, everything else has just been kill and collect. So this is now just suddenly really taking a massive dip. And, and so much so, I'm all over the place when I'm questing at the moment. There are actually three quests to be done in the area that I'm heading at, but I just do them all higgledy piggledy. Because I've got to go here and kill these Mogu, and then the soul drinker or whatever, the soul caller, you can see him on my mini map, he's just behind them. So I should just go behind and kill him, but no, I forget and I move on. And then there's a guy down to the left who actually has a quest for me who I missed. And he wants me to come here to the ruins and pick up some relics. So I could have done this all together. But I'm going to blame my brain cells for dying because all I've been doing recently is kill and collect quests. I want to get my endorphins flowing. It, it really does get a little bit feeble. So come on, Blizzard, for goodness sake. You've just... I feel sorry for the guys that designed this zone because it's absolutely gorgeous looking. And I have to say, when I'm in the Jade Forest, I think, nah, this is the best looking zone. And then when I come into Kunlai Summit, I'm like, nah, this is the best looking zone. <laughs> they really have done an absolutely sterling job on creating this zone. So it's just such a shame that all we're doing here is just boring, boring kill and collect quests. Yawn. Look at that. Surprise kill. <laughs> so here's the dude down at the bottom. You want me to get some relics. Unfortunately, most of the ads here the mogu have actually been destroyed so we get a nice easy run on the collection of the relics but it still would have saved some time if i'd picked it up beforehand i've got this annoying panda who keeps trying to get all the relics that i'm getting and even jumps ahead of me with his roll ability so he can get one that i'm running to because he's that much of a douche there you go you've just been douched on youtube mate well done <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated because this, this zone should have had an explosive start. There is so much this zone that you're going to see. It, it's, it's huge and it's diverse and it changes all over the place. And it's a cracking, cracking area. So why on earth 
couldn't it have had that start that it deserved? Just like the beginning zones to the Jade Forest that got totally redone. I personally think there's a lot of work that, that has to be done still. However, we are seriously running out of time. And I don't think there are going to be those type of changes which were done to the Jade Forest in other areas. Simply because they took the Jade Forest down for about a month. And this game's out in, what? six to seven weeks time so that ain't going to happen because they're going to close the beta down pretty soon so it's all a bit of a shame so i've got to collect three yaks yeah you just have to simply go onto one of the wild yaks running around right click it and it will auto follow you so nothing drastic there although i do have a quite a funky yak quest in the next video which is quite interesting and I do apologise in advance. I might break into song while I'm doing that as well. Sorry. But I'm going to end this quest, or this video anyway, by killing the soul caller. And again, this guy's nothing special. I thought it was going to be quite tough. But he, he really isn't. He wasn't hurting me with any of his abilities at all. And doesn't drop anything either. So, bit of a poor one. So... Blizz, all in all, the starting experience on one of the best looking zones is weak again. There's just no diversity, so it seriously, seriously needs to pick up. But I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. Like, comment and subscribe. Every time you like, you get extra EXP bonus. True story. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.